It's been more than 10 years since Oli Murs bowled us over on The X Factor. Since then, the troublemaker has achieved huge success as a musician, a presenter, and an all-round cheeky chappy. <laughs> Oh, well, I think I think we know who they came in to see today. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't oh, think, I don't think I don't think it's us. I don't think it's us. <laughs> um, now, Ollie, a really warm welcome to Thank the you. show today. Now, you are here, of course, to talk about the voice, mm. but I know that you wanted us to address this right from the off. But we wanted to say from us just how sorry we were to hear about the death of your friend Caroline. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, it's been a uh, it's been tough. You know, even. Even you saying them words, it doesn't really, uh, you know, doesn't make mm. sense to me yet. I'm still really coming to terms with it. You know, it was a, you know, a massive shock. I was on holiday at the time, so um, yeah, the last couple of weeks has just been a bit of a, yeah, it, yeah. It's so hard to even talk about yeah. it, to be honest. Um, Are you getting help or support? Um, I think from friends and family. Um, sorry, I just saw the phone then. Uh, mm. Yeah, no, just seeing friends and family, really, and, and, and getting back into work a bit and just kind of, like, keeping yeah. busy and, and uh, yeah, talking about it. But, yeah, it's, it's been tough. You know, I never... Yeah, I never thought I'd probably... Well, I'd never yeah. see her again. So, yeah, she's... You know, I love her to bits and I'm going to miss her, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. We just wanted to, to pass on our thoughts to you. And I know... I know you wanted to ad address it and then move on, so yeah. we will move on. Okay. You're, you're, you're here to talk about The Voice. Of course, um, yeah. We want to know if it's true that you said if you win, you're going to strip naked again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I got, I got asked if, um, when, I, when I won the show last year, I obviously got naked behind the chair. Well, you say obviously. <laughs> no, I did. Naturally. I, naturally. Yeah, uh, and so I, I, I said to the to the lovely lady on the phone, if uh, oh there you go. Uh, <laughs> Do you ever think I wish I'd ever done that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Of um, but I said it on the phone. If cause, hey, listen, it's going to be tough to win the show back to back and win it twice. Yeah. Um, but I said if I did win it, I'll come back in in naked. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is this compulsion you have to get naked? <laughs> it's not. It's not at all. Honestly, I swear to God, I, I just, I, I don't. I, I have one of them filters. I really don't care. Yeah. So you know, I, 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 I just do it. I, I don't know what it is. I just. But that's why everyone loves I think, you. But I'm sure around the X Factor when we were, when we were, I'm sure. Don't you, tell them, Molly. Don't tell them. <laughs> But I remember, like, everyone was just like, why are you always naked? Yeah, like, it was a thing. I was just... I just don't... I, I mean, maybe... I'm, You're like uh, a little boy. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a family thing as well in that house. When you're all together, you, it's like being with yeah. your brothers and sisters, isn't it? it doesn't I just feel, feel comfortable without my clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... But, anyway. And especially now, you know, obviously, we yeah. saw the pictures on Instagram. You've had a little bit of a transformation. Are you even more comfortable? Well, I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> No, I, I, I honestly, I, this is the end of last year, I, I would, it would be, well, for anyone that doesn't know, I had knee surgery at the start of, uh, middle of last year. Yeah. So I had a lot of time off and I was sat, you know, my leg up watching New Swimming, of course, and mm. different shows. Of course, shows, and everyone just, does. I had nothing else to do, so. That makes me uncomfortable that you were sitting watching New Swimming like that. <laughs> So I was can eating. I, can I just say, my dad's just had a knee operation. Yeah. Dad, if, if you're watching, that's how you're going to look once you get there. <laughs> well, I was just... I just ate a lot, and obviously I was trying to eat well, and I had a, a great nutrition um, doctor in to help me eat well. I mean, even though I looked quite big then, I, was, I, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't able sure. to walk, I wasn't able to mm. run. And so at the start of the year, I got to a really good place, spoke to my girlfriend, I was like, look, you know, I need to make a change. I've got, I'm going on holiday with you soon. You know, I want to look half decent. And plus, I need to... My doctor said to me when I came out of surgery, he said, Ollie, you cannot get fat. Oh. Ah. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, because your knee is so unstable. Mm, right. If you do put too much weight on, it's going to put a lot of stress on your knee. Yeah. And I was like, damn it. So when I, <laughs> that means I can't be what I want to be. I just want to eat everything. <laughs> um, so I looked at the... And I looked at the photo. My girlfriend took the photo yeah. of me, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm so overweight. I was the heaviest I've ever been. And, you know, this isn't for... I never posted the photo because I was like, look at me of a six-pack. Yeah. It was more because I wanted to just show people you can do if you just put your mind to it. I mean, yeah. you know, diet... We can all diet, but you have to be able to get up in the morning, just go and do some active, yeah. you know, active rest or active walking, go and do something to, yeah. to just, you know, get my metabolism moving. And, and I felt great. Yeah. I, I feel great now. I've already switched on. 
I feel, um, you know, ready to take on the world every day, which is, which when I had the weight, I just felt yeah. so lethargic. I felt like, oh. It's nice to hear you say my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Yeah. Because the last few times I you've know, been on here, I you've know. been single. Tell us every about your girlfriend. Feels yeah. <laughs> every, <laughs> every time for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever interviewed you without... To be honest, Holly, yeah. Single. God, I felt, I feel like this was much... Every time I come on the show, that was, like, my moment to say, look, girls, I'm, I'm single. Yeah, uh, you were using us. <laughs> and, yeah, I was. Um, but, yeah, this, this was live Tinder for me. Um, <laughs> but, no, now I'm... Yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, oh, I've got a great, great girlfriend who's been, you know, just amazing to me. Um, I think... You posted on Instagram a while back that you thought you were punching above your weight, which I did think was very cute. No, I definitely am. She's a, she's a rocket. Um, <laughs> you know, she... Uh, I, you know, I, I love her to bits. We've been... You know, we've only been together a short while, but... You know, you really, you know, especially with everything that's been happening over the last couple of weeks, you really see a different side to someone. And um, mm. yeah, that must have been difficult because of yeah. the new relationship. Of course, and yeah. I was, you well, I was on holiday with a family, so it was yeah. when you found out about Carolyn. Yeah, and and you know, you really learn a lot about someone and how you know, and, and her family were incredible. Like, and you know, just with everything, even just with my knee last year, I was like. I couldn't really date her. <laughs> I couldn't take her out because I was like that. Um, Must be love, eh? We, we, we just started, you know. We just we just had an instant, you know, connection. I think you do when you when you find someone you genuinely yeah, care about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm so happy for you. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm genuinely really happy. So I think you know, I'm just yeah. Hopefully she stays with me. So that'd be nice. It, it is funny <laughs> why and when people come into your life, kind of at, at a time when you. It seems like the most inopportune time, but actually it's sometimes can be the absolute right time. Yeah, well, it was, because weirdly enough, I, I, my sister said to me, she goes, are you trying to get rid of Amelia? And I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, you've just met her, you've had knee operation, you've shaved your hair off, <laughs> and now you've gone blonde. You've completely, <laughs> like, changed the way you look. And she still loves you. And she still loves me, so, I'm, I'm, you know, I must be doing something right. But, um, but no, it's been brilliant, you know. I, I, I need, it, was, it happened at the right time, yeah. so... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm not single. God, I hated being single for so long. It was yeah, just... it was really tough. No, I did, I did, <laughs> I did, I did, it did. I did. It did. It did. <laughs> She's watching. It's I did. Right. Um, no, Don't no, honestly. <laughs> no, I think anyone. You know, I was yeah. single for so many years. I genuinely got to a point when I actually hated myself a bit, a bit, because oh. I genuinely was just going through the motions. You know, I'd be dating this girl and then moving on to this one, moving on to that one. And I just thought to myself, I just want to meet someone I genuinely Aww. love and have a connection with. Aww. And, you know, when you see so many people happy and engaged yeah. and getting married and stuff, that's what I was and craving then for. You, and you got it. I which did. We're happy Sorry, about. I'm Now, The Voice continues Aww. on Saturday, 8.30pm on ITV.